Member from Newmarket Aurora. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, uh, my question is to the Minister of Finance. Yesterday, we offered to participate in an all-party select committee to assist the government in finding $2 billion of savings across all ministries. We did that because we outrightly reject the concept that there should be $2 billion of additional taxation on families and businesses in this province. The New Democrats reject that as well, and we know today that the vast majority of Ontarians reject that. I'd like to know from the Minister of Finance, will he agree to accept our offer to form an all-party select committee Question. to assist him in finding the savings and efficiencies of $2 billion of tax? <laughs> well, you know what? Let, let us start a conversation. Let us, let us agree. Uh, I'm going to start a conversation. The interjections will stop. Minister. Thank you. Let us agree to do this. Let us agree to pass the budget that talks about a very disciplined and determined measure to curb our spending. We're taking the steps necessary to ensure that spending remains below 1% year over year. As a result of those initiatives, we've been able to achieve over $5 billion in cuts over the last year to reduce our deficit projections. Next year's projection is going down by another billion dollars again because of those measures that we've taken. That is what is important. We need to ensure that going forward, we look, work collaboratively by passing this budget, ensuring that these proper steps are taken so that we Answer. tackle and eliminate the deficit by 2017-18. supplementary. Well, Speaker, the New Democrats have already confirmed that they'll pass the budget. We're going to vote against it because we don't, we do not, we do not believe that to increase spending by two billion dollars is a good start towards reducing Order. spending and waste. Here's what I'm asking the Minister of Finance. Apart from the budget, which is a separate issue, we all know that there are at least billions of dollars of waste in this government every year. We, as the official opposition, want to extend our offer of support to form an all-party select committee to help find that waste so that we don't have to put $2 billion of additional taxes onto the backs of families and businesses across the province. Will he accept that? You see it, please? Minister of Finance. We have taken extraordinary steps to transform the way government works, to find those savings, to ensure that we're delivering services in health care, in education, and all the other ministries that have taken extraordinary steps to reduce their spending. But we know that in health care and education, there are still pressures that are necessary because of the increasing demands. What is necessary as well, Mr. Speaker, is to be balanced in our approach. What is necessary is to stimulate economic growth and economic renewal by stimulating jobs and investments in our capital infrastructures. What is not necessary, Mr. Speaker, and what is harmful for economic renewal is a slash and burn policy, across the board cuts, attacks on, uh, on our nurses and our front lines is what they're offering. We're not going to stand for that, Mr. Speaker. Answer. We're going to invest in our future. We're going to invest in our young people. We're going to create jobs and stimulate growth, and that's what this budget is about. No question.